while the French complete a sound business in shrugs and even, when prepared, mustache spins, they are generally an undemonstrative people. However the 4GT's unexpected progress to its track mode, the auto dropping two crawls as water powered actuators pack its supplemental curl springs, the back wing ascending with an equivalent suddenness, is sufficiently great to urge an aggregate murmur of gratefulness from the gathering of Le Mans corner laborers and other educated observers looking as the auto prepares itself to head on to the well known circuit. In spite of the fact that we've taken the new GT back to the site of its most praised hustling win, the 2016 class triumph taken in its first section to the 24-hour race, this isn't an investigation of what the auto is equipped for on a track. Our photographic utilization of La Man's short Bugatti circuit occurs amid a meal break, and despite the fact that in France that likens to two hours, get to is on the condition that we drive delicately enough not to trip the commotion meters. The greater inquiry, and the one we haven't possessed the capacity to answer up until this point, is the means by which the GT manages this present reality or, at any rate, the estimation of that given to us by France. For that, we'd have to take the auto on open streets, and for some odd reason a portion of the ones we pick are very of the great enduro circuit. Past France. We likewise removed a full arrangement of execution numbers from another GT in Michigan and later took that auto to Virginia International Raceway to perceive how its lap time contrasted and a portion of the harder chargers. With creation restricted to only 250 units every year, that implies a respectable level of the current armada has been utilized to present to you this story. We should begin with the sticky subject of the numbers. Since while the GT is gigantically quick, its crude figures are not as motivational as they ought to consider the valued premium the auto continues blue chip rivals. We know it is brutish to scrutinize any auto fit for breaking 60 miles per hour from a halt in 3 seconds level and handing over a sub 11 second quarter, yet the merciless truth is that those circumstances are just adequate to put the GT beneath the middle of its madly fast section. Both the Lamborghini Huracan Performant and the McLaren 720S are fundamentally faster, and each is more than $150,000 less expensive.